Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech FIFA here and welcome back to our new video. Before we start the video, I'd like to let you know that this video is sponsored by Pixart. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a YouTube thumbnail or actually how do I make my YouTube thumbnails. So without wasting time, let's get started. So for any YouTube thumbnail, you, just, you need a one background picture first. So here is my background picture now I don't want all part of this picture I just want the right section so select the crop option and make sure you select the YouTube option from this crop section yeah, if you want to make a Twitter cover or anything you can select this those options now adjust the crop tool and select the part which you want as your background picture for the thumbnail here we go this is my background you can also rotate this picture by using the flip or rotate tool you can also make your background blur by using blur effect I usually make my backgrounds blur not very but a uh, little bit blur so that uh, people can more focus on main thumbnail now I'm going to add another picture to my thumbnail now let's crop it I just want the center part of this picture not all the picture so you can crop okay then now you can see that the this picture doesn't match with the background so what we are going to do here is I'm going to add effect to this picture so that uh, it it should look similar to the background or it, its color should be similar to the background select the effect and you have to check out the different effects to find out which effect matches with the background ok now this effect looks good now this color effect looks familiar with the background now I am going to erase the border of this picture a little bit make sure to decrease the opacity of the eraser and here is the borders now you see that this picture looks like a part of this background picture and doesn't look like it is a different picture you can just ok we are done here now I'm going to add another pictures to this which are the main content of my thumbnail so these are the main content of my thumbnail you can adjust them as you want I'll add effect to these pictures later first uh, I'll do other stuffs to add another picture to this thumbnail okay I'm going to add these stripes to make my thumbnail look good now you can see that the color of the stripes is not doesn't match with my background so we have to use the effects here also to make it look similar with our background adjust the picture and now open effects now we need a effect that uh, makes these stripes match with this background or make its color, color similar to the background Look, this color looks a bit similar to the background I am going to select this one the color is actually good now adjust the opacity ok this looks good now if you want to add any stickers to this thumbnail you can just click on this add button and you can see there options lens player sticker color or you can add text select sticker from there and search for anything you want if you want to if you want a dollar sign you can search dollar 
Now uh, thumbnail is based on stick Easter, so I'm searching for Easter. Select sticker which one you want. You can select this option if you want to add any stickers. If you don't want to add, just don't select this. Okay, we have selected this sticker. Now I am going to add effects to this also to make it look familiar with the background. Okay, now you can get almost any stickers you want. Like if you are comparing any two products and you want to add a versus sticker, you can just select for versus and there you go. You get all the stickers instead of getting image from Google and cropping it and then using it in your edit. This takes lot of time. Or any other stickers like dollar sign or coins or anything you can just search in sticker and get them now i'm going to add another photo which is uh, just a logo it's like logo i want to add only the circle part to the bird easter bird now we will crop it first and there is no circle option you have to first select a picture and then you have to erase and want a part of that picture sorry okay now we have to erase the unwanted part of this picture just select the erase option i usually use simple eraser there, there are three options you can use to erase you can see if you select the third option then you have to select the part which one you want to keep but I go with the first one which looks you know, easy to use for me and to be more precise with your editing you can zoom in or zoom out doesn't matter if you do any mistakes you can undo this there is option at the top to undo okay now our logo is ready going to keep it at top left corner now it's time to give effects to our cards you can just select the card and select the adjust option you can see there are many options saturation clarity contrast I usually increase set clarity in my in my cards and increase the temperature To, now you can see that the left card is looks more highlighted than the right card when we increase, when we increase the temperature the left card looks more highlighted than the right card the color of the powder looks more bright than the right card you can also add shadows to this if you want to All right, we are done here. Now I'm going to show you the lens flare option. Actually, the lens flare is a it is a bright light, which uh, you can add to make any area brighter. Okay, I'll add one to show you. I'll select this one. Now you can see the area looks bright. I'm going to add this behind the cards. I don't use this option most but just added this to show you guys now I am going to add the last picture to my thumbnail you might have seen on my previous thumbnails that I had 
the glass effect to most of my thumbnails so we are going to do the same here I'm going to add the glass effect now to add the glass effect you need a full black background glass broken glass images okay adjust the image as you want and select the blend option you can see there are screen multiply darken lighten add there are so many options if you select a screen lighten or add option you can see that the, it becomes transparent i usually use the add option now you can erase the glass effect if you want like i don't want this glass effect on the face and we will erase that the thumbnail looks good with this glass effect okay now we are done here so this is our final thumbnail i am going to save this you can also add the borders to this i don't add borders to any of my thumbnail I'm just showing you guys select the color which looks good with this border and there you go this color looks good you can adjust the inner border you can do this if you want to add and border to your thumbnail but i don't think it looks good okay now also you can add text to your thumbnails most of the thumbnails include text yes this, this is the main part of most of the thumbnails there you can select any font style there are many font options available in this adjust the text and select the font you want this one looks nice now select the color you can give the color to it or you can use the gradient or you can use the texture I like the texture so if I to add any text in my thumbnails I use texture but I don't think there is any need to add text in this thumbnail it doesn't look good for this thumbnail of course so I'm just going to remove it okay so here is our thumbnail so we are done here hope you like this video please make sure to check out the link in the description and thank you pixart for sponsoring this video please check out the link in the description so guys see you in the next video till then take care bye